The Art of Creating Beautiful Patterns on Clothes Dating Back 2600 Years On Clothes or Galam Kari Painting on clothes is a flourishing art that has survived until now. Passing by Naqsha John Square, you will see artists creating calligraphy fabrics. The peak of prosperity of this art, which is also known as sheet making, is attributed to the Safavid and Qajar eras. The embroidered fabrics are often made of linen and cotton on which traditional motifs are placed with an attractive color combination. The motifs used in the fabric have a good variety. From Golobute, a slimy to musicians, image of lovers, historical events, domestic and white animals, and miniatures. This variety leaves you wide open for choice. Necessary settings are applied to this machine and adjusted to the required length and tonnage and after completion it is returned to the rolling mill. The relevant rolling is closed on the fabric weaving machine and after applying the relevant settings on the weaving machine the fabric is woven. The product is poor cotton and if other material is used than cotton, it's not possible to print the design on it. The sizes are based on the lengths of the rolls in different machines from 35 cm to 310 cm in the workshop. The fabrics are in the forms of shelves and are cut as ordered and needed. Both sides of clothes are rooted by women in their homes, which is Risha Tabi. This woman is Mrs. Jamilan Nadi. She is 90 years old. 
At this step, the fabric is placed into water from night to morning because cotton fabrics shrink by five to seven centimeter per meter during the drying process. Because after the fabric is painted, the colors that are based on water after the execution of each part of the designs will be placed in their correct place and the components of the design won't be moved after the execution and the work won't be damaged in the end. After drying process, the colors of different stages are made and applied on the clothes. First, black color is made. All the contents of the design inside the mold are black. Black paint composed of katira and rusted iron or walnut shell. The paint container that is used instead of a stamp is a clay container into which Ketira is poured, which has a springy shape so that the mold gets water on it and instead of a pen, it's made of goat's wool because the water doesn't flow on it and the hand don't get wet. Next color is red. The red color is not fixed because we only want to control how much color is placed on the work. The red color is composed of katira and aluminum sulfate or alum, in Farsi says zaj, which is a mineral. next color is blue. The blue color is 5% industrial color and 95% natural, which is made from water and pigment. The next color is gold, followed by mustard. After each color step, the fabrics or clothes should be spread out in the area for one hour and dried in the sun. After finishing the implementation of different colors on the clothes, the clothes should be placed in the sun for a whole day. This item and related effect is a step of the process of working on the clothes. Molds are made manually with special tools like this. This 
special tools name is drafsh like as drafsh naqsh bor bizar naqsh bor and this is oshtor gelu for cleaning the base of the molds the wood of the mold is pure or hot horn it doesn't warp due to its high density the molds are placed in the ship's tail so that it doesn't warp and water doesn't penetrate it. These are several kinds of Kalamkari mold. And this mold is at first of the work for molding. Cooking stage in the steam boiler. The clothes are fixed in the steam boiler with steam at 100 degrees Celsius. The material of the pot must be copper. If it is other than copper, it will blacken the clothes and spoil the work. In the next step, the clothes are transferred from the steam boiler to one of the pools and they stay in water for one to one and a half hours and are washed. At this stage, which is the lifeblood of the artist, the clothes transferred to a large thermal pot or potty. And water is added to the pot, runas and pomegranate skin. And the clothes are circulated by wood for about one hour and a quarter until the red colors transparent and fixed. At this stage, Runas reacts with aluminum sulfate or alum or zaj and the red color becomes crimson. Pomegranate skin makes the background cream, otherwise Runas will make the background red. Pomegranate skin is applied in several stages and at each stage, by turning the fabric upside down a little pomegranate skin is added which affects the entire clothes and the entire background of the clothes becomes creamy the heating pot must be made of copper which doesn't affect the clothes and doesn't change the color of the clothes At this stage, the clothes are transferred by wood on the scaffold and they are transferred to this pot and grated pomegranate peel is added to the water to make the clothes creamy.
The clothes have been transferred to the water pool because the pomegranate shells and other items are removed from the clothes and the clothes are cleaned. In the last step, according to the skin of the pomegranate attached of the clothes, the clothes are transferred to the watering machine. And after the watering, the clothes are spread in the area and dried in the sun. And ready to be sent to the market. In the olden days, in the river, the clothes were twisted by hand and the water was removed. And due to the smoothness of the water, the surface of the clothes has become very transparent. In general, the colors are stabilized in such a way that they don't disappear during washing in the future. The director of this collection is Mr. Morteza Jafari. He has 50 years of experience in painting or galamkari and has a first class degree in art. He has been presented with numerous certificates of appreciation from the countries of India, Germany, Russia, Italy, Lebanon, as well as handicrafts and cultural heritage organization of Iran. The UNESCO emblem on which both sides of clothes painted work has been presented. And he has also been presented with a national quality mark. He participated in a competition in this field in India and was the first among 60 people. Due to the fact that is Horzuk city, Deligan neighborhood, which is one of the subdivisions of Isfahan province, there are several collections in the field of Galamkari and because Mr. Morteza Jafari is one of the most prominent professors of this art field, his statue was displayed in one of the squares of Horzuk city.
Thank you very much for being with us until this moment. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be informed about other videos on this channel.